there's, there's another concept that comes to mind at the moment, and then you're talking about body, mind, and spirit. And within the concept of the body, mind, we, also, we oftentimes, like in the old times, in the way we used to think of the science, we used to only think of it in a way that it embedded in our body. But as you've had many of your near-death experiences and stuff, you can actually see that your soul, being what I would say liquid solids and gases, is morphing, and it has, like everything in nature, has cycles. So there's a way that we should understand, because there was another profound experience you had when you had the near-death experience, where you talked about when you, when you, the consequences if you didn't come back, mm -hmm. and, and what the effect it would be on your family. Mm -hmm. So why don't you explain that? Because you know, we think of ourselves sometimes we want to check out, and we, we don't realize that we have a role to play. The, in that particular experience, and it was the one that... Uh, kind of set everything into place it was it allowed me to see because I was really kind of determined at that point because I'd I, you know and I'd have gone through previous experiences like that and I and then you know it's here's the small ego in my in my being going okay full time out I'm not doing this anymore either show me what I need to see and let me understand what I'm doing or let me go because this yo-yo is not working for me Right? Here's my analytical little ego going, hey, <laughs> you know, I understand you have a big vision, but I'm not getting it. So it was an amazing experience in the sense that it was, I came at first, you know, from that ego place, but in the same breath, it was like, no, I, I'm, I meant it. I meant it in the sense of, you know, it, it, should the universe be compassionate, then have the compassion to understand that I'm actually asking to understand what it is that I've gone through so far because it's confusing and if that and if this is the state of the universe well then time out and it was interesting because that's what changed it instead of me instead of the experiences happening to me it was more like well here it is watch throw the pebble into the bucket and watch the waves move outwards and watch the interactions of these waves and it was amazing because what I did, I did see, I saw my children's lives, I saw my family's lives, I saw all the people that were inter interconnected with me, how it would affect them if I was simply going to drop my body and split. And it was honestly one of, that's not me. I, I came in here to play this life game, to come in and be a participant, fully conscious and and take it as it comes. And yes, there's some dynamics that you're not going to find too savory. And they're going to be challenging. But even those are actually perfectly orchestrated to help develop right, perspective. Because that's what we're here to do. Is develop our perspective. To come to understand who we truly embody. right? Because some of the stuff what we carry, they're artifacts. They're, they're like shadows of, of stuff from our parents and our ancestors and society's little you know skeletons and things and what we really strive to come to is to be at peace with all of it i mean you know buddha right come to peace with all of it so that everything can manifest and you are not pulled and pushed and destroyed in the process i i came to understand that in that near death experience i was really i got to feel that 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 place of peace of saying you know what I'm here, I am very all right with that, and I am willing to accept all of the dynamics that are going to happen with this because that's my life. Did you pre-plan that? Did you, did you get the sense that maybe you had done a little pre-planning of that when you came back in this lifetime? Because it's obviously something that you're obviously here to give a gift this lifetime. It felt honestly like the pre-planning. It's almost like I had a feeling like if we come into this life we are actually shown our book with all the potential possibilities of what we can possibly experience you know from the very finest to the very worst you 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 literally review it with god right. <laughs> that's kind of the metaphor i don't want to say literal because that's not you can't but i did have that strength of that feeling of saying you know i i got a chance to look at that book before i incarnated mm -hmm. and i was at peace with it 